How do you choose a good password and why is it important? In this video, we'll take a look at why strong passwords are so vital to protecting yourself against hackers and identity theft and how to choose a secure password for your accounts. With more and more business transactions taking place online such as banking, billing, and shopping, more sensitive and personal information is on the web than ever before. It's common for thieves and hackers to attempt to break into computer systems and steal information by trying to guess people's passwords. When they succeed, it's usually because people choose poor passwords like password or administrator. Intruders can also conduct what are known as dictionary attacks against a password database, which automatically tests tens of thousands of potential passwords per second. And this is why basic words and simple variations of words are not good passwords. So it's obvious why it's important to be able to choose a good password, but you might not know how to do it. So now let's go through four good rules to follow when creating a new password. First off, try to mix letters and numbers and symbols and use both uppercase and lowercase letters. By doing so, you're making a more complex password. And also make sure that that password is more than six characters long because anything less can be cracked easily by brute force password guessing software. And in general, the longer the password that you make, the better and the more difficult to figure out. Number two, don't use the same password for all your accounts. If a hacker finds out your password, they could then use it for multiple accounts and have access to a wide variety of sensitive information. At the very least, make one or more passwords for your highly valuable information, such as your online banking, and one for everything else, such as your email accounts. Third, don't use names, words, or numbers that have a personal connection to you. It's not a good idea to use your name, your spouse's or child's name, or a street address or phone number, or any other information that a hacker could easily discover about you by searching on the internet. And finally, never share your password with anyone. It doesn't matter how much you trust somebody, it's dangerous to be sharing via email, text, or any other way that you might send that password out. If your password does get into the wrong hands, it can cause major damage to your personal information and accounts. So if you're still a little bit frustrated and you need some help coming up with something to use for a password, here's a suggestion. First, make up a sentence you can easily remember, such as, I have two kids, Jake is four, and Amy is two. Now take the first letter of every word in the sentence and include the punctuation from that sentence to increase the complexity of the password. And in the end, you'll end up with something that looks like IHTK colon JI 4A A I 2 period. Now that's a hard password to crack, but for you, it should be fairly easy to remember. Choosing a good password is extremely important, but it's just the first step in making sure that your data is secure. If you're a business person and you're looking for ways of keeping your data safe, secure, backed up, and working properly, make sure you contact us today to learn more about how we can help you secure your critical information.